Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Highlander XLE in the color green, aka Cypress. Let's take a look. So starting up front underneath the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 264 horsepower, 310 pound-foot of torque, when properly equipped, 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. Up front, LED headlights, customer dates, and running lights, fog lights down below. Let's get along to the side here. We have your 18-inch alloy wheels. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals and blind spot monitoring. On both of your front handles, you'll find these two double lines. We'll talk about that more on the driver's side. As you move back, all of your rear windows come with factory tinting. Up top, we have your silver roof rails. Across the back on the right-hand side, XLE all-wheel drive trim level badge. Left-hand side is your Highlander badge, and underneath your rear logo is your backup camera. This is also where you go to release your power trunk. Simply reach under and press the button, and it should pop right up for you. Inside, we have both a second and a third row seating. They both have a 60-40 split along the left-hand side, which allows you to lay your seats down flat, such as how we have your third row seating at current. You can do the same thing with your second row seating or any one of the four quadrants by releasing the handles on the top outside corners of your seats in order to do so. Third row seat occupants have plenty of their own cup holder space on the rear sides. You'll also find tie-down hooks in each one of the four corners all throughout this space. In the back, we have your Highlander carpeted mats in their factory packaging, and across the back is your interior cargo cover. This long piece extends outwards, locks into place on either side with these little hooks, helping to keep private anything you have stored in your rear space. If you're looking for your spare tire kit, simply look down and find this little tab, lift up your false floor, and everything you need will be stored right underneath. You access your spare through this little porthole, and there are diagrams explaining how to go about doing so. Now, to close up your space here, you can reach up to the handle on the right-hand side. There is an optional kick sensor, or you can press the electronic button. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So, inside here, your interior upholstery is the black leatherette with black stitching. Second row seat occupants have access to the folding down armrest slash cup holder here. Easily folds away to increase your seating capabilities. On the back of both your front passenger and front driver seats, we do have pouch storage. Back of your console is where you have your air controls for the rear air conditioning. This, of course, can be controlled through this panel, or you can control it from up front. We'll talk about that in a moment. Down below is your charger options, and we currently have the Highlander branded rubber mats throughout this unit. On the sides of your seats is where you'll find your adjustments. There are diagrams showing which controls do which actions. That way you're able to have easy access to your third row seating area. In your door, you have all of your storage spaces, as well as a built-in sun shades. This unhooks, rolls all the way upwards, and locks into place, helping to keep the sun out of the eyes of everyone in the back without impeding on their view. Just as easily, this unhooks, rolls all the way back down, and goes completely flush into your door frame. Back again to these two double lines on the outside corner. This indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can simply tap your hand here to lock and unlock. Inside, we have our first look at the metallic highlights that you'll find all throughout your cab space. Then you have your power windows here for front and back, window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls. Front seats are electronically adjustable, back front up-down lumbar support, hood release latch as well as your gas release on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. Then you have your little storage compartment and controls, automatic headlamps, automatic on-off, heated leather steering wheel, and power trunk release. Up top, odometer trip and dash brightness. On your steering wheel here, left-hand side is controls for your dash display, hands-free communication, and volume control. Right-hand side, radio controls in the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top, including sonar and lane departure. In the middle here is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Down at the bottom is all of your general setup, so everything from your personal profile, Bluetooth devices, Wi-Fi display, voice, sound, media, dealer info, etc. Then you have a climate control display, front and rear, as well as additional options that you won't find on the control panel, so that is your eco heat cool and rear de-icer. And in this area is also your trip information. Then you have your phone connectivity and audio listening. This includes AM, FM, and satellite radio. 
full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and we have optional USB adapters. Up top, what we saw is your optional navigation. You can choose to connect this through Toyota Connected Services. Bottom left corner is your volume. Then we have the climate control display panel in the middle. As we said, you do have controls for that rear panel on the right hand side here. And then up front, we also have your dual, meaning that your front passenger and front driver can have their own unique temperature settings or have the whole unit synced up all as one. All of this can be toggled through that sync button. Defrost for front and rear windshield, as well as your side mirrors here, as well as defrost for your rear windshield wiper blade. Really useful here in cold Canadian winters. And then you can see on either side, we have three variant levels of heated seat controls for driver and front passenger. Then you have your four ways, push start ignition, and storage space the whole way across the front with, again, more metallic highlights. In the middle, this is a wireless charging pad. It is compatible with all wireless charging devices. Nice thing is you can slap your phone down in there because it has an inset tray design. It's not going to go flying. It also has bumpers on the sides and back. You still have a clear view to your screen for notifications coming in and out, but you don't have to worry about it being in the way of anything else. Underneath that, more storage space. You have all of your chargers on your right hand side. Cup holder gear shift behind that is driving modes, sport, normal, and eco, mud and sand, normal, and rock and dirt. Parking brakes, traction control, snow, and downhill assist. In the back here is your console space, independently moving tray up top, and then you have additional 12 volt adapter down below. On the right hand side, you do have a lockable glove box. Up overhead, one, two, and three dots there, those are your garage door openers. Then you have a sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting controls, and controls for your moonroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Highlander XLE in the color green, a.k.a. Cypress. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.